In this past year question, imagine that you have two similar spheres. Each same mass travelling with the same speed, but different direction, ah, moving towards each other. The spheres have a head-on elastic collision. Mm. Which statement is correct? Now keep in mind, elastic collision, there are certain properties there. Momentum is still conserved, but kinetic energy is also conserved. Okay, let's, let's check through the statements one by one. First one says that the spheres stick together on impact. Wait a second. When they stick together, that means it is a perfectly inelastic collision. So that ain't gonna happen. So nope, not A. B says the total kinetic energy after impact is mv squared. Well, I don't know if that's true or not. I need to do some calculations. So let's pause that one first. Let's see what we can cancel out. C says the total kinetic energy before impact is zero. Oh, this one I can calculate. Total kinetic energy means I add together half mv square from the first object and then I add another one, half mv square from the second ball. You're like, miss, they're pointing in different directions. Does it matter? No, because the square will cancel out the negative side. So add together, this will become mv square. Hmm. Zero? Are you serious? No, not zero. It's supposed to be mv square. So, nope. D says the total momentum before impact is 2mv. How do we find the total momentum? Let's might as well find that. Total momentum initial will be mass times velocity plus... Oh, don't forget the negative sign. We define in our system, usually to the right, anything that moves point to the right is positive. To the left is negative. So this is positive V and minus V. So if I want to find the total momentum, it has to be MV plus negative MV because the other ball is moving to the left. So this one, the total momentum is zero. <gasps> okay, so this one is wrong already. No, it should be zero. They kind of swap C and D. Ah, yeah. That leaves us with C. Ah, sorry, B. Total kinetic energy after impact is MV squared. Hmm. Now remember when I said if this is an elastic collision that kinetic energy is conserved. By conserve, I mean that the final kinetic energy of everyone added together should also be the same as the initial kinetic energy, which is what we found earlier, mv square. Hence, because it's an elastic collision, you can say, all right, elastic means nobody lost any kinetic energy we got mv square and mv square before and after. That's how we know the answer is B. Alright, so that's all for this question. See you in the next one.